good morning welcome back to my channel welcome to this week's sunday car boot sale haul video it is actually half it's afternoon i don't know why i say good morning good afternoon but it'll be morning when you see this because it goes out at 6 a.m i only went to one car boot sale this morning i only went to trench lane and i'm not sure why because i normally go to east compton and then decide on whether or not i'm going to do trench lane afterwards and today i just automatically went to trench lane and i'm not sure why and i'm not sure it was worth it because it was pretty small today i got a small haul and i didn't have any energy left to go to easter compton afterwards by the time i trudged around the field trugging me trolley trugging me trolley tugging my trolley pulling my trolley i am loving my trolley i have to say really enjoying that but um didn't have any energy left so i only did the one car route so i am with bag i'm also with onion skin from bag but please what i got a combination here a little mixture not very much stuff but a little mixture of stuff for us that we needed and stuff to resell so starting here just because that's the easiest thing to put in the bag from there a scrabble turntable i bought one of these a few weeks ago probably maybe six weeks ago and sold it very very quickly it's a really simple thing it's literally just a plastic thing they bought them out in the 70s i believe I remember looking at this date on the box before and saying 50, 60, 73, there you go. 73, there's this little Roman numerals date down the bottom there. Um, and yeah, it sold very quickly last time I had one. So this chap was doing his games at £2 each and I said to him, would he do three for a fiver? He said yes. I got the Scrabble turntable and two travel Scrabbles, which I have just opened and checked and they are both complete. So that was excessively nice. Them being complete was excessively nice. I kind of want a rubber band to put around this and I don't know if I've got one because it won't be complete for long once I've chucked it in this bag with all the bits I'm going to bear with. I shrink roll it temporarily because I don't seem to have any rubber bands. Another holder. So yeah, three for five on those. The travel scrabble is usually a safe tenner. The I can't remember what I got for the turntable, that's probably a safe tenner as well, so worth a fiver. Definitely worth a fiver's investment. I paid two pounds for an open packet of puppy training pads. We are still using these, and I don't think we've paid full price for a single bag, pretty much, since we've got the puppies. Two, four. There's at least 20 in here. At least. I have a pack of original pack of 30. At least 20 in there, two quid, so always useful. And like I said, I don't think I've paid full price. I've got them because I pick them up at the car boot all the time. And I paid 50p for a smaller dog bowl from Molly. So we realised that Molly's having smaller meals. She's eating a lot more dried food. So she has a full bowl of dried food that she can graze from throughout the day whenever she wants. That's always available. So and because of that, she's having smaller amounts of wet food at mealtimes. So and the only reason she's having that at all really is because the babies are having theirs. And if everybody's eating, it's easier. And so we realised that her bigger bowl that she used to have when she had a large wet and dry meal combined, it wasn't necessary anymore. So I've been looking out for a smaller bowl. But I just realised this hasn't got its rubber ring on the bottom that would stop it skidaddling around. It was 50p though, so you know it's not the end of the world. We'll try her with it, and if she find if we find she's chasing it around the kitchen, I'll just buy another one. They're only about three quid, I think, in home bargains in the first place, but seeing it, picked it up. I paid 50p for this Marie Ange de Costa Flower Fairies empty biscuit tin. This would have had biscottini di fine pastiera italiana, beg your pardon, Italian people, and it's one of those book design tins. And the Flower Fairies tins always sell, always. And then from the same lady as that tin, I got these two and the mug. These two are Wilton, Wilton baking pans, and they are Witches and Monsters Fingers, which I thought would be ideal timing for Halloween. Two of those, there were four, but a gentleman bought two of them just in front of me, so too slow. She wanted, what, did, what, what was it, 50p each? I think they were 50p each. It was 50p each. I paid a £1.70 altogether for those two. The Flower Fairies tin and this mug which is a national trust for tillery mug so one pound 70 for those four items as you can see i haven't spent a huge lot this morning 20p 50p 50p 20p 50p 50p for a little miss naughty mug that is the create uh, the trium from wild wild and wolf range corion chorion i don't know 20p Price, look, oh, for a smiggle pop-out pencil case they've only priced it with little bits of post-it notes which is nice because that peels off very easily and it is a 
bears and snakes, it seems to be. So you press the various buttons and the various bits pop out. This bit's hold sellotape. I've got a pencil sharpener in there. Lift the lid. You've got bits for your pens or whatever. That one says tape cutter there. So, Oh, that's for scissors, that one there. Scissors go in that one. I made a mistake. I beg your pardon. Does the back open as well? No, the back does not open. So the top opens. You've got pencil sharpener, scissors. Eraser fits in that bit. Tape on the end. There we go. Just pop them all open. There you go. You can see all of them. 20p. A smiggle, a used smiggle pencil case can sell for five to six or seven pounds. So for 20p, it was worth it. And the last couple of bits, I paid two pounds for this Kipling bag. Little Kipling uh, pouchy style bag with a, with a long strap. It's got a central pocket and two side pockets. Sometimes Kiplings have the name of them in there, but I don't see a name on this one. It does have its genuine Kipling hologram to show you that it's not a fake. Hang on, is there a name? No, just a number. Just a number. But yeah, the chap had it marked at £3. The £3 sticker fell off as I picked it up and he probably put it on his son and said, look, bargain. And I said, no, thank you very much. <laughs> Little kind of like seven-year-old boy. Don't want a seven-year-old boy for £3. Thank you. And then I said, would you take two? And he said he would. So I paid £2 for that. And then the last two things are not even to resell. They are frames for posters because I have purchased some prints. I'm going to do a completely separate video with those, actually. Purchased some prints, which I'm going to do a video on. Some of them for me, some of them are for gifts. And I thought I would pick up some nice new frames. Two for £3. The top one is a Dunnell one that would have been seven originally. The Ikea one. I'm not sure how much these Ikea Nopang frames are. I might have a quick look. I, don't, I can't have a quick look, you're on it. Um, but yeah, two for three pounds, definitely a good price on those. That's it. That is my entire haul. That is the haul and all of the haul for today. I did not buy a great deal. Did not buy a great deal today, but as we have said multiple times, I don't need a lot of stock. I've still got a massive death pile, still in the cupboard in Tammy's room. She's been very patient about it. <laughs> and still some stuff down here to list. So I'm going to sit and do some listing this afternoon. That's my plan. I'm going to edit a couple of videos and then do some listing. And... Um, and make myself feel a bit better about the death pile. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this one. I hope, as always, you've enjoyed it. And if there's anything you like, it will pop up on my eBay fairly quickly because I am listing as it comes through the door because I'm ignoring the death pile. But if you can't see it on my eBay, drop me a line and I will speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.